Let's get our project installed and running. This lesson is going to be about front loading our dependencies so we don't have to worry about them in later lessons. So let's start by creating our Nux application. We're going to use our npx nuxy init. And I'm going to call this Nux Stripe tutorial. I'm going to just use npm for ease of use. And then we'll wait while we install the dependencies. I'm going to say yes to initialize git repository. So now let's cd nux stripe. And I'm going to actually open this into my favorite code editor, which is VS Code. Here we have our basic Nux application. Nothing special here. I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with it. Now what I'm going to do is actually take us to my blog post. So here, let's go into installations. We've done this. Now we're going to install our auth dependencies. So just for ease of use, I'm going to copy and paste and run it. These are all of our auth dependencies. We're going to be using auth core, size base, next auth, v9, which is their latest version, as well as next auth 4.2.1. This is actually very important um, due to just some issues with the next side base, the next auth module that we're going to be using. But it works just fine, so nothing to worry about. Next is going to be Prisma. So let's go ahead and install those. Same deal, this is just Prisma for the client, or server, Prisma for the client, and then our op Prisma adapter, which we'll play with a bit more later on in the course. While that's installing, I'll go to the next part. So I am a big fan of Tailwind CSS. So I rely on Nuxy for this one, our module add. Um, it's just a nice, Nuxt utility function that places um, this directly into our Nuxt config. So if we go into our Nuxt config, you'll see here there's uh, just the default. But once this is finished, this should change. You see? So just a few little niceties, nothing too serious, but might as well use it because we have it, right? The next thing we're going to use is headless UI as well as hero icons. Uh, these are also from the Tailwind CSS team, and you'll see later on, but I, I do use Tailwind UI. Uh, I use Tailwind UI components, which rely on this, on these packages, so I just decided it's easy to use them as well. Last but not least, Stripe. All right. So now our package.json should look something like this. Um, just double check, verify that that's where you're at. And also our Nux config, we should have tail and CSS in here. And there you have it. If you want to expedite this, you can just run these three commands rather than each individual one. But I, I do think it's valuable to understand why we have packages that we have. Anyway, that's all for installation. If you want to run your server, you can do npm run dev and just verify that it is in fact running. All right, that's all we have for this video. I'll see you in the next one.